Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and today I have another topic that I will be sharing with you and that's about uploading custom fonts in your Canva account. Now let me just let you know that Canva fonts uploading is only available for Canva Pro account users. So that means only to those who are paying for the monthly or for the annual subscription. So I'll be sharing with you um, some updated information about this because when I recorded a video and I uploaded it as well, here in my channel, I mentioned that there's only 25 fonts that you are able to upload because that was true then. So now I feel that I need to update the video and I decided to just record a new one and to share it with you. So are you ready? Let's get started. So I'm now here in my Canva Pro account. Again, uploading custom fonts is not doable or you are not allowed to do it if you have a free Canva account. So if you are not subscribed yet to the Canva Pro account, I have a good news for you because Canva is actually offering a 30-day free trial to have a Canva Pro account. So I'll be leaving the link in the description box and I'll be posting it right here as well on your screen. So you're seeing it right now you can actually try canva pro for free you don't have to pay anything for 30 days so let's get down to business <laughs> all right so let's open a poster right here so just a little um, deviation from the usual um, template that we use so here you go i'm gonna choose a template all right so we will be using this to illustrate what we are gonna do later but this is not exactly what we are going to do we're not going to design anything so but I'm why do you need custom fonts because sometimes um your clients have already a branding in place and that they require a different font to use or maybe it's your own brand and in your branding you can't find the font that you chose in the standard list of canva fonts so i'm gonna show that to you right now i'm gonna highlight the uh, text right here all right so here you go some of the fonts that you see right here um, this one that I am highlighting are actually some of the fonts that I've already uploaded. So here, starting from English fonts, those are the standard um, fonts that you have on Canva. Um, it comes preloaded with your account. You don't have to upload anything. They are for free. Now, if you see right here, there's a um, crown. That means it's... Uh, premium font so that means you cannot use that if you have a free canva account all right now as you can see right here at the bottom as well it says upload the font and again there is a crown that means it's only available for canva pro users now we're gonna go to brand kit right now so you have to go to home all right and then here you go i'm gonna click on brand kit brand kit is a place where you can customize or upload some fonts add your brand palettes and customize the fonts that you always use and of course to upload the brand logos that you work with just to compare from the old um, interface of this brand kit area before the brand logos are actually at the bottom and then the color palette you can see that right here in this area and then you can see the most common um, fonts that you use here um, and then in this area would be your uploaded fonts all right so here you go i have as you can see i have uploaded several fonts already that i use for my clients as well as for myself there you go and i still have room i haven't really uploaded about 100 custom fonts so that's the new limit right now it's no longer 25 so that's a good news it's already 100 custom fonts that you can add to your brand kit and you can set as default the fonts as well that you will upload so it's not limited to the standard fonts that canva has so you can set your brand fonts right here the heading subheading as well as the body font so i've set up mine already in my past video it was not working for me and now i can show you that it's working already so that's a good news and if you want to change it you just have to click on this pencil icon right here so there you go and then choose the font that you want to use so just like what i said earlier you can choose the fonts that you uploaded um it's clearly identified right there it says uploaded fonts and of course you can choose the fonts that came standard with your account 
um, if you set your language to English, then English would appear. If you set it to another language, then um, probably a different one will appear right here. I haven't really tried playing with other languages here on my Canva account. I've just used English from the very start. All right, so let's get to uploaded fonts. So now how do you upload fonts? You have to click here where it says upload a font. It's clearly identified right there. So let me show you that again. And to illustrate how to upload a font, I'm not going to upload a font that's already installed into my computer. What I'm going to do is to actually share with you, this is additional information um, for you. I'm going to share with you some of the sources that I have um, for fonts. All right. So here I am on thefont.com. That's D A F O N T.com. And I have chosen a font to download and then I'm going to install that on my Canva account. So the font name is Landmark. And I'm going to download that right now. And then there you go. It's already downloaded. So this is another source. Um, it's called creativefabrica.com. So every day they have a freebie. And today they have this mistletoe font. It's a hundred and brush font. So I'm going to download that. Um, if you want to subscribe here as well, it's actually free to subscribe. Um, just create an account and you will be able to download the freebies that they actually give out every day. So um, I'm going to link that in the description box down below as well. So here you go. It says free and um, the freebie comes with a commercial license. So that means you can use it in your paid project. So if you will be working with a client and they like this font, then you can use it without... Um, any fear of of be of having any legal issues in the future so there's commercial license all right i'm gonna click on download and then um, another source that i'm gonna share with you would be creative market so i have an account right here um probably almost five years already and um i have amassed quite a few um design elements and uh, my purchases area um, is going to be a proof of that. So we are here in the purchases area. Um, and we are going to choose a font that we are going to download. So, um, And let me remind you as well that every Monday, you get a fresh um, batch of freebie from Creative Market. So create an account. I'm going to link again the, the link where you can create your account so that you can download the freebies every Monday afternoon if you are in the Philippines. So I think I'm going to download this Outlander font. So I'm going to click on download. All right. And it's going to download to my computer. And now I have the three files right here. So what I'm going to do is to go to my downloads folder. So I'm just going to save this so that I know where to look for them when I need them in the future. So fonts, and then I'm going to unzip them for Mac it's just so easy you just have to double click and it starts the unzipping if you are using windows i would recommend for you to check because i think there's a different uh, there are different um unzippers or what do you call that a a file that you need to have or a program that you need to install in your computer and it also matters if um, what operating system you have so just to be sure if you don't know yet you can google and just search for how to unzip files all right so so then what i'm going to do is just to um remove those um zip files i already have unzipped the files right here and this is landmark and what i'm going to do is to just um put this on my downloads so there and then go to my fonts all right so there's four right here and i'm going to put that in my downloads folder as well you can skip this step if you don't want to be organized but i like um organizing my stuff so that's why i'm doing this and um also if you are asking why is there a ttf and an otf file so an OTF file is actually the newer version of the font and is more compatible with a lot of um, programs and softwares and stuff like that. So if you will ask me what I recommend for you to install, I would recommend for you to install the .otf file into your computer. Or if you want to upload it on Canva, then you can upload that on Canva as well. All right. So. Um, let's go back to Canva real quick and then we are now ready to upload the font because we have already unzipped it. So click upload a font 
and then we will choose the first one landmark um we got this from the font.com and it's it was free okay so um yes upload anyway there's no otf version for this we only have an otf version of the file let's see if it's going to be a success there you go it's a success just click on okay and then we shall look here the name is landmark i see it it's already here so we successfully installed the first font that we downloaded let's click on upload the font again and then we're gonna choose mistletoes.otf and then click yes upload anyway and then um, let's cross our fingers and i hope it's gonna upload there you go it's another success and the third font um we will choose outlander.otf there you go. Yes, upload away. And let's wait. All right. So I think this is going to be another success again. There you go. So we have successfully uploaded the three fonts um, that we downloaded from the three different sites that I shared with you. So again, I'm going to link them in the description box down below so that you can also download fonts if you want. All right. So if you encounter an error message while uploading, please ensure you are using the correct format and that your font is properly licensed. So like I mentioned earlier, you might encounter an issue if you will be uploading a font that doesn't have any license. So you have to make sure that you have the proper license before you upload the font. Your uploaded fonts will appear at the top of the available fonts when creating designs in the editor. So I showed you that earlier as well. So let's go. Um, let me refresh this window right now. Okay. And then I'm going to choose a font right here or a text. And then um, there you go. It's on top. It actually showed right here. And the brand fonts, it's going to show on top of the uploaded font. So there you go. All right. So that's about it for this tutorial. If you have any question or if anything is confusing from what i shared with you today let me know please leave a comment if you are a subscriber already i please accept my sincerest gratitude i really appreciate you following me watching my videos and all that if you are not a subscriber yet um i would appreciate it if you click the subscribe button right now and click the notification bell as well so that you will be notified when a new video is up so there you go uh, i hope you will watch out for the next videos that i will be uploading i have so much in store for you and i'm here to help you out if you have any questions Again, thank you for watching and have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye!